This video is going to help you write your lab report, which is worth 200 points in the lab portion of the course. There's three different um, assignments for the lab report. You'll have an outline that's due first. Then after your outline's been graded, you're going to do a full report, which is going to be peer reviewed by another student. And the peer review is the second assignment. And then after you receive your paper back from a peer, then you're going to flesh out a whole report. And the whole report's worth 100 points overall. Um, to help you write the report, MRAD is the method that we're going to use to write it, and MRAD stands for Introduction, Materials and Methods, Results, and Discussion. This little picture that you're seeing actually shows you what should go into each section. The introduction should contain background information, and the very last sentence should include your hypothesis, which should always be a statement and never a question. Your Materials and Methods section should be exactly what it says, what did you use and how did you use it. Your results is the data that you collect, and it needs to be both represented in a table or a graph, and then you need to explain the results. And in the discussion, the first sentence should support or reject the hypothesis. Uh, hypothesis pardon me. You should never say prove, always just support or reject. Then you also mentioned things that might have gone wrong as you conducted the experiment, and then what else could you test in the future based on the results that you have. Okay, after you write the outline, Again, then you're going to write a full lab report. And some of the questions that I get asked there are, how do I do a table or a graph in Word? So to show you how to do that, basically you just come up to Insert, and then you go to Chart, and then figure out what is the best representation. If it's a bar graph, you click on Columns. If it's a line graph, you go with this one. Um, but let's say it was a bar graph that was going to be the best way for you to represent your data. Um, once you open that up, it also also opens a little Excel sheet where you could enter your data. Um, enter your data in there, and let's say, I don't know, you were doing some experiments where you were using glucose, sucrose, and fructose as sugars during a fermentation experiment, and glucose started out with no carbon dioxide but ended up with four meters, nah, centimeters if I'm being honest. Um, sucrose started out with zero, but then gave you one centimeter of carbon dioxide. Fructose started out with zero and then gave you two centimeters of carbon dioxide. After you were done with all of that, then you can close this and it's going to show you your actual bar graph. Your zeros are on there. They're just zeros and so they're not actually showing up as a bar graph. Um, it will automatically insert that in there. So that's how you make a graph. Good luck.